This is a 1968 Motorola 20 inch color television model CU210EM and it uses the TS921 tube type chassis. And this is known as a mini console because of the small CRT it contains. It's only about 24 inches wide. And these Motorola color sets from the 60s are probably the hardest sets to find today. They just didn't catch on as well as the Zeniths and the RCAs. But they were still great sets. I got the back cover removed already. Take a quick look at this. ninety four oh one West Grand Avenue in Franklin Park Illinois that was the headquarters for Motorola at the time and that was the main plant for the consumer electronics division so all your stereos and TVs and radios were all built there got the quality control tag and the model tag and all the Motorola patents right there It's nice when all the model tags are still on the back cover. It's very important. And you got to have your advertising paraphernalia to go along with it. But this is not a works in the drawer. This was more of their economy TV because it's got the horizontal tube type chassis. And this thing's just packed full of tubes. It's packed full of everything as you can see. There's really uh they took advantage of every cubic inch of space just about inside this cabinet. Got the point to point construction just like the Zeniths. In fact it kinda always I always wondered if uh Zenith and Motorola were trading ideas back and forth because uh they were only just a few miles apart from each other. Because Franklin Park is just outside the city of Chicago uh limits. Here's the date code on the power supply chassis, July of 68. And you got August of 68 on the TV chassis itself. I'll give you a little diagram here to show you how to pull the front panel off. It's got the original CRT. TV's pretty much all original. I took it apart when I first bought it. it. Came from an estate sale in Evergreen Park, Illinois, back in 07. Just de-dusted it and tuned it up. Didn't really have to do too much to it to bring it back to life. I got my digital converter here hooked up to it. I got my nice archaic bow tie antenna. So, uh, for the purposes of showing this TV, it should work fine. Might get a little uh, weak signal here, but uh, for, for the most part, it works okay. You're making us all look bad. The Dodge Grand Caravan. The industry's most versatile cargo and passenger vehicle. It's the right tool for the job. It's the monster! There are over half a million apps and counting on the iPhone. Apps that can take you anywhere and do anything. You might say there's no limit to what this amazing device can do. So the question to ask is, why would anyone want to limit the iPhone? We don't. 
truly unlimited data for your iPhone, only from Sprint. Everyone loves DreamWorks Kung Fu Panda 2. Thank you. It's the number one animated film of the year. Please stand aside, sir. That's a lady. Oh, sorry. The beard threw me. False advertising. Own the Kung Fu Panda 2 awesome double pack on DVD and Blu-ray this Tuesday. You know if you target red card, you get 5% off, right? I mean, got like $500 worth of nuts here, you do the math. This thing here is a pretty nice picture for the most part. Purity's pretty good. Football games are a great way to test the performance of the TV. It's been a field position battle so far, and now the Bears backed up at their own five yard line. It really has, and the big player has just our tent range. Ooh, personal fouls already. Almost lost my color sink there. To help them out, the big play the first half so far, the blocked field goal attempt by Julius Peppers. Oh, I see. It's intermittent control. A little dirty. I've got a few low power analog stations. I don't have my antenna hooked up. They could still tune across the band and get a couple things. Considering today's December 11th of 2011, I think we got about four or five low power analog stations still going here in Chicagoland. Usually just touch the antenna terminals. Back in the good old days, that's how you could see how good a set worked when you didn't have an antenna. Nice and close to the transmitter. Just touch the antenna terminals and you were good to go. Congratulations to our coach. There you go. New head coach of the UCLA Bruins, Jim Moore. Congratulations, coach. Our director, Mike Frank, and Got a slight uh, pull in on the UCLA right side. That's caused by the horizontal output tube. It's got a lot of hours on it. But it took a little while for the set to warm up. And that's usually because of a slow warming up horizontal output tube. But considering we got a 43 year old TV here, this thing's working pretty good. It's always sad to tune through the VHF band and get absolutely nothing. The most epic day in America. But and the end of that's the way the world is now. Can't complain about it. And the swipe of a Visa card gave one man a chance to bring happiness to ten And with this, uh, this chintzy antenna arrangement, it works pretty good considering I'm in my basement. Use your Visa card for a chance to win. To see more of the story, visit our Facebook page. It's so nice to spend time just you and me. I know. This is great. No, I feel like... Did you just check the game on your phone? What? No. Well, that's pretty well, much it. Kind of someone who can just... A 1968 Motorola Color Television.